guys, you saw that. Now, what I'm going to do, all of this is going to be with photos. There's not going to be any moving, nothing. Two, these are theories that are going to be more updated. I got a chance to actually talk to some Black Butler theorists, um, newcomers who have watched the show, and episodes that I myself have rewatched. We are only going to be focusing on four people. And no, Ralph's not part of it. It's going to be Sebastian, Ciel, Claude, and Aloise Transy. Even though I'm not a big fan of him, he's got to be part of this because it's pretty important. Okay. First of all, the theories are going to be around seasons two and one. And why I'm doing it in the reverse of season two is because season two is all over the place. So let's start with Claude and Aloise Transy. Now, there's a lot of theories going around that Aloise Transy got the wrong demon. He was supposed to have Hannah, not Claude. How Claude managed to convince him that he had should make the contact contract with him, I don't know. Why Hannah got involved, I do know that Hannah was the one that took Aloise's younger brother. Now, there's a lot of confusion around of why um, Claude killed Aloise. Yeah, I'm jumping into that one right off the bat. Um, I have two, I have one big theory. My one theory is that Claude wanted to have two souls. Because we've seen his reaction when he tasted Seattle's blood. He was in ecstasy. He was loving it. Now, we never get to see his reaction when he was um, talking to Aloise Transy. Or we never got to see how he tasted his blood, what his reaction was. Now, my theory is that he did this on his own. He convinced Aloise this is the best course of action, or he didn't do it at all. And he just killed him, put his soul in this ring, and then put the ring on Ciel, and Ciel didn't think anything of it. Now, how that soul from a ring got into Ciel's body, I think that was also thanks to Hannah. But I think Claude's theory was, if I can get both these souls in one body, I'm going to have the best meal. But the other theory is that either it was either Seattle or Aloise figured this out and said to Hannah, whichever one of us wins the struggle, make that one a demon, which obviously Seattle won. Now, getting on to all of that. I have to take back some things I said about Aloise Transy because one of my friends, she made a really good point. She said all that Aloise really wanted was a friend. And you know what? I agree. I overlooked that part. You know, I overlooked. That's why he's so clingy. You know, he could have made, and I don't know what the contract between him and Claude was. I don't know if he said to Claude, I just want you to be my friend until I die. Which, that means Claude would have been with Aloise all the way up until he died either of old age, or he died of being sick, or he got killed. That's about it. Which, obviously, that didn't happen. But... I find it very interesting that they never really said straight up if Aloise agreed on this or didn't agree on this. But I'm going to say this, guys. We watched Aloise put his fingers in Hannah's eye and literally dug her eye out. That's pretty demented. I mean, he... He may look like a sweet and innocent kid, but he can get dark real quick. I mean, you wouldn't want to drop your guard around him. I mean, we never really get to see any... And I know I'm bringing Growl into this when I said I wasn't. 
But we never really saw any contact with him and Growl, and I think even Growl would get, be a little creeped out by Aloise Transy. I mean, I can't blame the kid, you know. Um, Claude, I don't think, liked Aloise from day one. He never really looked like he was happy. He never really looked like he enjoyed doing what he was doing. He was always so quiet. He was always so very quiet. And when he did speak, you know, he had a very softness to his, uh, to his voice, just like Sebastian. But he looked like he just wanted to get everything over with. But even after he killed Aloise, he still did not look like he was um, satisfied or happy. And that, to me, said a lot of interesting things. But, like I said, this is just a theory. There's nothing hard or concrete saying, yes, this is what Claude was thinking. No, this isn't what Claude was thinking. But you also have to take into effect... We're going to bring Seattle and Sebastian now. Now, this is where things, in my opinion, get a little complicated. One, I'm going to start this right off the bat and work reverse. They left us on a cliffhanger with Seattle and Sebastian. Seattle is now a full-fledged demon, and Sebastian said his famous words that he always had said, I will be your butler until the day I take your soul. Well, that ain't happening now, Sebastian. Way to go. Applause all around. But, guys, I have a very dark theory. I have no backup for this except for what I saw. I have not discussed this with anybody who has worked on Black Butler or so on and so forth. But, I think Sebastian is the one that can't that did kill Seal's parents. And here's why. If you notice, rewatch that scene where Growl blurted out, I can tell you who killed the brat's uh, who killed the brat's parents. Look at Sebastian's face. He got he got nervous. He had a facial expression that told me he was either scared or nervous. And the only person that should have that is someone who has done something wrong. It's a high possibility that somebody hired Sebastian to kill the Phantom Hive family except for the boy. And after that, Sebastian might have gone and took that person's soul waited a while, and just by chance he got with Seal. But that wouldn't make a whole lot of sense because then he's just wasting his time trying to help this kid figure out who did it. Now, the argument could be if he finds the person who gave Sebastian the orders, but that wouldn't matter. I think if William did not step in Growl would have blurted it out, and we all would have known. Because I do think Sebastian's hiding something very dark, and now that he's got Ciel, he he's stuck. And there's so much now, so many theories buzzing about between, you know, Aloise and Claude, and Ciel and Sebastian. And... It's bothering me because I still try to rack my brain a lot around a lot of things. And I keep making all these theory videos because sometimes I get somebody who hasn't seen the older videos. They want newer videos. I've had to go back and rewatch some other videos to, um, to see what was actually going on in the actual episode. I was told that Hannah was supposed to be... Um, Aloise's um, demon. Now, here's something interesting. I'm sure everyone's going to be like, well, how did Claude get his hands on Seal? Well, with him being a spider demon, he has these little spores. And I think right when Sebastian was about to take Seal, you know, his hand was cut off where the seal was. So technically, the contract was almost not there. And that left Ciel open for any other demon to swoop in and grab him. And I think that's what he did. 
that um, Claude got inside of CL's head erased all his memory of Sebastian and erased all his memory of everything else and took him. That's why he forgot that Madame Red had died. Anyway, guys, I'm seeing the runtime here. I'm going to cut it kind of short. So this is Jahia Moon Dragon. And as always, I will see you in the next anime. Bye-bye.